This ball is straight out of the box. This ball has been broken in. And the difference between the two is massive. Basically, we just take the ball and we're gonna run it through this hard brush and it kind of knocks the red off a little bit. As you can tell, the ball's already getting a lot darker. And you kind of just kind of want to run over it and just knock that red off like that. And stay off the logo and stuff. You don't want the logo getting messed up. Shaving cream basically kind of does the same thing as the brush, but it kind of softens the ball up. We let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. take uh the shaving cream off as you can see you'll just run through it it will knock that shaving cream off it actually will turn the ball a little bit darker if you look at it and it kind of smooths the ball out a little bit just like that and we just flip it over i like keeping the angle down when i'm brushing off this stuff kind of just keep it consistent on both sides okay so this is called mojo which is a leather conditioner so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to dab this up a little bit put a little bit right there and we're gonna kind of just stab it together like that. And we'll, all we're doing is gonna rub it on the ball real quick. It breaks down. As you can see, the ball is changing colors and I'll show you the towel here in a second. Uh, basically, you just run it down the ball and it basically just starts breaking down that leather a little bit and we kind of get a little darker texture on it after we get done with the heat gun right here in a second. Yep. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier about the red. You can see where the leather conditioner was, the red just coming off that ball. And now this is the finished product after the leather softener you can tell how much darker the ball already is and how much different does it feel from the original oh it feels a lot different so the this one gets a little bit more grippy you have a little bit more of a grip to it and the leather just feels a lot better than before it was really slick and really kind of just like kind of feels like once you unwrap like a new like toy or something like that it kind of just kind of slick feel but now it's got that nice texture to it and a nice little grip to it uh, so basically this step right here is the rubbing mud so this mud believe it or not costs a hundred dollars basically a can and inside of it what we'll do is we'll add a little water to kind of get the mud to spread out a little bit better so this is a hundred dollar mud you're looking at <laughs> and basically all we'll do is we'll take this mud and we'll apply it to the ball and we'll give it a good just kind of scrape down at first and then i'll rub the mud in just basically give it a good spread around the ball make sure all the parts are covered that way we get that consistent rubbing in So what's this mud doing to the leather? So ball? basically the mud, just like uh, the brush. So we'll use the hard end of the brush basically when this dries. So basically it will start turning to uh, this color right here all the way around. And by that time we use this hard brush and it will basically smooth the ball out more. So, and that's basically what the mud is doing in general is just kind of breaking that ball down and making it a little bit smoother and better to throw. So today uh, in kind of saving time manner, we use the heat gun to kind of dry the mud and usually I wouldn't recommend this unless you're kind of in a hurry or need to prepare a lot of balls in a short amount of time. It kind of removes some of the mud in spots like that. Maybe the heat did kind of probably pushed it down in the ball a little bit, but uh, it still worked out the same way. And we're going to go to the hard brush. We're going to take the hard brush and we're just going to start removing that mud and you'll see the ball, how kind of dark it will get compared to beforehand. How much softer is this ball now from when? It's a totally different, already just this process, this is a totally different football. And you can tell we started with. so much easier to press down on it and you can yep. just feel the smooth, how smooth it is. Yep. And that's exactly how quarterbacks like it. Kind of just like, you know, rolls off the hand and how smooth and just how soft it is. That leather softener really kicked in good. And so basically now we're going to go straight, like I said earlier, back to the mojo. So basically we'll just run a good little bit on the towel right here. We'll have to use a little bit more for this step uh, just because we want to get that ball good and clean. And this will take the mud off 
basically. It will clean the ball, and plus it will give us that kind of last step into kind of breaking down that leather how we want it, get a little bit softer. So here we go, this is the before. This is basically what this ball looked like. And this is the after. You can see it's a massive difference. It's a difference in feel. And we're out here on the practice field where eventually these balls are gonna do what they were made to do.